Hey Shelby, want some dick? Hey Ben, haha, <laughs> jeez, you got straight to the point. No small talk even? Lol. Talking about my dick is small talk. Cause it's small. Lol, 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 lol. How you going? I'm back. Let's do the rest of the Tinder chats. I'm gonna read through the rest of my Instagram. What do we got? Maddie. Oh, I did a Tinder moment with my vibrator picture. And she liked it, so I wrote, Hey, you like my vibrator pictures? Does this mean you're keen? It's barely being used. Just joking, I've used it on myself heaps. Who doesn't love a secondhand vibrator? My gran didn't seem to enjoy it when she unwrapped it on Christmas. Prude. Your gran would be keen? For sure, if Eva were alive. I was wondering why I hadn't seen her on Tinder in a while. Rachel, she wrote to me, If you were a tropical fruit, you'd be a fine apple. So I wrote, If you were a vegetable, you'd be a sweet potato. You might be sweet, but you're still a potato. Well, you look so much like my sister. Don't worry, I'm Tasmanian. Alana, wanna buy me a milkshake today? She wrote, My milkshakes have been known to bring all the boys to the yard. Rolf Harris said the same thing. So this one, Demi. The problem with this one was that she was really hot and I really wanted to write back to me and she didn't. So I wrote, what you doing? And then you know when you see them come on Tinder, I was like active on Tinder a minute ago. So she's seen the fucking message and she's like, no, I'm not going to write back. So I just, I just went to fucking town. I was like, why aren't you writing back? Who are you with? Miss you. Hey, who'd you vote for on Triple J Hottest 100? Yeah, I didn't vote either. That's for poses. You can't buy me hot dog, man. Okay, don't get why you aren't replying. It's over. Fuck this. I don't need this. Just kidding. Miss you already. This is so ass. Hello? Have you seen the movie Taken? Have you seen Debbie Does Dallas? It's cute how you don't reply. It reminds me of my pet rabbit. It's dead lol. Hey, would you rather be a tree for six months or be a person for those six months but everyone thinks you're a pedophile? Choose wisely. A tree. Then you can't move for six months and what if someone chops you down? You're dead. She goes, I don't care, I'd enjoy the serenity better than being a suspected pedophile. My uncle doesn't find it so bad. Everyone was one of those um, robot prostitute girlfriends. She wrote, hey, I want to have sex with strangers who are also skilled and very intimate in bed. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I just, I said, hey, I'm not too keen on the sex part, but I'm homeless, so I wouldn't mind a bed for the night. How much just to sleep in your bed? You look like you have diseases, so you're not allowed to touch me or talk. Laura, common friend was my, my mate Ryan Hunter, who's a model, and she wrote, Hey, just wondering how you know Ryan Hunter. I used to model with him, then he tried to fuck me, so she got weird. Ha, ah, I can't say that I could see Ryan doing that, but then again, our mums are good friends, not us. Better not tell his mum that he tried to suck my dick, lol. That's all the Tinder chats I've got for now. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, I'll post a lot more Tinder chats, I'm sure. Unless, of course, um, some girl tricks me into dating her, which is very unlikely. I'll see you all next week for another video. Um, peace. Here's another little slut robot one. Heather sent to me, Hey, I'm happy you like my photos. I'm available for the girlfriend experience for 120 roses. Tingirls.com slash Heather909, if you're wondering. Lol, why would I want the girlfriend experience? What are you going to do? Constantly tell me to get a job, then fall asleep during sex? That's so girlfriend's, eh?